Hey, this is Aaron from Drive Mojo. I got a really good question from our friend Mary. She sent us an email, wanted to know about Lexus cars. Specifically, she wants to know what is the difference between the Lexus IS, ES, GS, and LS. Now, if you see me looking like this a lot, that's because I sent her an email with the answer and I'm referring to that so that I don't screw up like in this video. So out of these uh, four cars, the IS is the only front wheel drive option. Uh, all the others are rear wheel drive with a couple of exceptions. And uh, the IS is also basically the baseline, the smallest and the base, the, the most baseline of these four. So uh, it has 101 cubic feet of interior space and it has two engines, three powertrains. So it has a two liter four cylinder and it has a three and a half liter V6. The V6 can also become a hybrid. That's gonna be a recurring theme. So just remember three and a half liter V6 also hybrid because all of these use some variants of that one engine. Now, the ES is slightly larger, 116.6 cubic feet of passenger room. And it has that, you guessed it, three and a half liter V6. It also has a two and a half liter hybrid electric option. Now that's funny because the horsepower difference is huge in this car. Uh, in the last car, the horsepower stepped up as you went from from hybrid to uh, V6 to or from four cylinder to high, to V6 to hybrid. Uh, so in the IS, they go from 241 to 260 to 311. In the ES, they actually drop. So you start with the four cylinder putting out 302 and you go to the six, it only puts out 215. That's weird. And I'm wondering if I transposed those numbers when I wrote this, because that's very possible. I'll check it. You'll see something happen on the screen. I was wrong. Now going to the GS, the GS is actually smaller than the IS. It only has 99 cubic feet of interior space, but it's bigger in size. This is the, uh, uh, kind of the performance focus for that IS. So you, they're taking a the little IS, making kind of a performance car out of it. It has 99 cubic feet of interior. I think I said that. It has that 3.5 liter V6. Also has a 5.0 liter V8. That's a behemoth of an engine, considering this is Toyota. So Lexus, uh, 280 horsepower out of that V6, 389 out of the big eight. So there is the GS, it is rear wheel drive, it is a performance focused vehicle. Now you go one step further, you get in the LS. The LS is almost exactly the same size as that GS and is a performance variant of the ES. If all these names are confusing, it's a luxury car thing. They like letters and numbers. Um, I don't like it either. Anyway, so the GS has 99.4 cubic feet of interior. So tiny bit larger, right? About what, what's half a cubic foot? My fists probably. <laughs> uh, and a slightly larger trunk, but again, three and a half liter V6. There's your base engine for this. It also has a hybrid electric version that uses that same engine. So you get both of those, uh, but it does not have an eight. There's no V8 for this one. So weird, right? Uh, so you have uh, that six cylinder is putting out almost double the horsepower of the IS. So it is, this is a much beefier uh, programming for this for this engine. So it's putting out really good horsepower, about 300. What's the number on it? Actually, it's 311. I think that's the number. So. Hopefully that helps. That's the, now she was focused on the 2020 model year because that's what she was looking at. Uh, there have been a couple of small changes for 2021, uh, but I won't go into those because Mary's question specifically is about 2020s. So there we go. That's the difference between the Lexus IS, ES, GS, and LS sedans or coupes or whatever. Cars. So there you go. All right. Uh, that's it. Make sure you subscribe. Stick around. There might be some more questions answered and stuff. Yeah. Try to do some of these with Kristen. Because, you know, 
i'm not nearly as focused.